What's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Horror Hangout. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you're having an awesome day. Um, I was waiting for this one for about a week, and it finally came in the mail. We got Horror Pack for January 2022. If you're not familiar with what Horror Pack is, it is a uh, blind box of sorts. It is a movie service. You pay $24.99 a month, and you get four random blu-rays or dvds sent to your home uh in a box and inside the box there's also a bubble wrapper so you know you're going to get your things in the condition that you would want them in if you're a collector it's a good way to um well indulge yourself and get stuff it's a good way to watch movies that you don't have to pick out because they're coming to you um it's a good way to uh bolster your collection if you're a collector of physical media like i am uh i like it because you always get some underground stuff that you didn't know was even a thing I, so as far as I can tell, in every pack, it's been this way for a long time. I've been a subscriber to these guys for a long while. I pay for it. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. So anything I'd say positive about this company is because I want to, not because I'm paid to. Although, if you see this horror pack and you want to pay your boy something or give me a free box or something, I've been an advocate for you guys for a long while. Anyways, <clears throat> the way I the way I see it is that you get one like well-known movie in each pack. You get one that's a horror pack exclusive, and then you get two like independent movies every month. That's the way I can see it. And for 25 bucks for four Blu-rays, and you get some independent movies, dude, the resell and tradability on the horror pack exclusives is outrageous. They're worth some money if you got people that are looking for those things and they don't want to subscribe to it, they want to pick them out. Um, I don't really care about that much because I keep mine, but it is a thing. They've only got limited numbers available, so, you know, there's that. But see, look, open in a box, boom, this comes out of it. Anyways, look, it's a cool service. Go check them out. Horrorpack.com. All right, number one out of four. What do we got? Boom! I'm not going to lie, dude. I don't have this on Blu-ray, and I'm pretty psyched. Um, oh, this is a new one. Puppet Master The Littlest Reich. Okay, you know what, dude? They can keep bringing Puppet Master movies, and I'll keep watching them. Yes, that's awesome. Dude, let's go. Number two. Blam! Uh-oh. Loose disc. All right. This is the Horror Pack exclusive. It's called Bad Dreams, The Best Nightmares of... Wait, The Best of Nightmares Film Festival 2021. I don't know what that means, but we're about to find out. Sorry, I got new lighting in here. It's glares different. I'm going to figure that out. This collection of films curated directly from the Nightmares... Film Festival 2021 program overflows with a unique mix of subjects, powerful voices, and boundary-pushing stories. Nightmares Film Festival has been named one of the world's top horror film festivals by every major genre outlet, and these films exemplify the outstanding quality of the 2021 Film Festival. I mean, 10 terrifying tales. Man, it's got this dark red on black. It's hard to read. Uh, from your darkest nightmares. If this has got 10 movies on it, then even if 9 of them suck and one of them's great, that's a great value right there. I'm kind of psyched about that. I'm, I wasn't expecting that at all. Alright, number 3. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I don't have this one yet either, dude. Nice. I very rarely get movies that I've already got on here. That's weird because i got a lot of movies. A couple thousand? Uh, the Dark and the Wicked on Blu-ray. Dude, let's go. Yo, this one's supposed to be pretty good. Um, on a secluded farm, a man is bedridden and fighting through his final breaths while his wife slowly succumbs to an overwhelming grief. Siblings Louise and Michael return home to help, but it doesn't take long for them to see that something's wrong with mom. Something more than her heavy sorrow, gradually they be... Oof, something more than her heavy sorrow, excuse me. Gradually, they begin to suffer a darkness similar to their mother's, marked by waking nightmares and a growing sense that an evil entity is taking over their family. A chilling descent into nihilistic evil, says Bloody Disgusting. One of the scariest movies of the year, says Collider. Pure evil, says iFilm. Scary as hell, says Screen Anarchy. You gotta figure out whose people are you reading their quotes from, because I can take Bloody Disgusting and Collider. Okay, maybe. Even then, they're probably getting paid to do these reviews. But uh, when it's somebody you've never heard of before, just understand that, I mean, they can go in and watch my review of a movie and be like, uh, I can be like, yo, that movie was pretty good and was kind of scary. But I think it was a four out of 10. And they could be like, 
movie was pretty dot dot scary says horror hangout so just keep that in mind when you're reading the reviews i say just watch them yourself and you know if you find somebody like me who if we have a lot in common and you like a lot of stuff that i like then you could probably take my reviews uh for what they are but if, I, if, if it's written down somewhere especially if there's like a word dot 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 another word understand that they broke up what i said or anybody said to give you that little uh clip of that person whatever though i don't know why i decided to go off on that it doesn't matter this movie's probably awesome i heard it was good says so in the back of the box no. <laughs> all right all right all right all right last one for this month Bam! okay this is one i do have but i don't think i have a slip cover for it so we're good i'll keep the slip cover Prevenge. This. Oh, it's a Shutter exclusive too. Maybe I don't have this. No, I do. And I do have a slipcover. This movie's good enough that I bought it. So, uh, I say, um, yeah, this is a cool movie. So, what this movie's about, I'm going to keep the new one because it's got a little bit nicer slipcover. But, uh, <clears throat> this is a pretty cool movie. Uh, Ruth's misanthropic unborn baby speaks to her from the womb coaching her to lure and ultimately kill her unsuspecting victims struggling with her conscience loneliness and a strange strain of prepartum madness ruth must ultimately choose between redemption and destruction at the moment of motherhood it's directed by alice lowe and stars gemma wellam who is in game of thrones um and kate dickey who is also in game of thrones oh it's two game of thrones girls i knew that um uh, it's a pitch black blood soaked comedy. It is. It's a it's definitely a black comedy. Um Damn, Game of Thrones. That's right. I knew I knew her for somewhere. I really, really like this movie actually quite a bit. Um When I watched it, I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting much. And it was one of those ones that kinda caught me off guard. And so by the end of the movie I was pleasantly surprised by what I was given. Uh Hold up. We didn't talk about this Puppet Master thing. I just kind of whizzed right by it. Puppet Master. <laughs> the littlest Reich. That is ridiculous. Fangoria is back with a truly unrated reimagining of the beloved horror comedy with all the gory practical special effects you can imagine. Edgar is recently divorced and returns to his childhood home where he finds a nefarious looking puppet in his deceased brother's room. He decides to sell the doll for some quick cash at a small town convention celebrating the 30th anniversary of the infinite, infamous Toulon murders. All hell breaks loose when a strange force animates the puppets at the convention, setting them on a bloody killing spree that is motivated by an evil old as time. Well, I mean, if this is going to show some like cool con footage, and it says from the producers of Bone Tomahawk and The Meg. Bro, you couldn't have two movies further apart. Did the same person produce Bone Tomahawk and The Meg? That's shocking to me. That is utterly shocking. All right, so we got to figure out what we're going to do with these movies, how we're going to do this. Oh, wait, Prevenge is going to the shop because I've already got a copy of it, so we don't have to worry about that one. Okay, so I've got these three movies. So basically, to, to reiterate what we picked out in the package this time is Prevenge, uh, really dark black comedy, very violent and gory. Puppet Master, The Littlest Reich. I have no idea what it is yet, but I'm going to watch it because I like Puppet Master stuff. The Dark and the Wicked, which is a movie that came out, I think, last year. I wanted to watch it, never got around to it. And the Horror Pack exclusive was called Bad Dreams. It's ten movies in one package. So this is probably value, value, value. Being that it's 10 movies in one package, I'm going to have to put this one on the bottom of the list this month. I usually try to watch my exclusives as quick as possible, but that's a lot of watching. I'm going to go with, because Pretty Vinge has already been watched. I like that movie quite a bit. I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to have to go Puppet Master first. We're going to go Puppet Master number one. We'll watch Dark and the Wicked after that, and then I'll try to start watching some of these other 10 films. Uh, if you guys want me to do some movie reviews, every patron member gets at least one review request a month granted with no questions asked so feel free to check that out if you want and i'll also have a exclusive discord for my patron members and as soon as it gets a little bigger i will divide it up between movie watchers and music listeners so that way it's not a bunch of overlapping con uh you know talking about other things so um 
yeah so check that out if you want uh you can we're gonna have all kinds of stuff going on I don't, anyways look i just appreciate you being here so at the end of the day that is what's important that you came by hung out for a little bit so thank you for your time if you want me to watch a movie or there's a request you've got you want me to talk about something on the live stream feel free to let me know in the comments you can shoot me an email hit me up on instagram uh and if you want to support the channel uh via patreon or if you want something tangible for your money we do have knife crime gear this is my clothing line i do them all handmade by myself in my garage so if you want a piece of clothing or something or patches or whatever uh hit me up that way otherwise man just have a great day and we'll see you real real soon all right horror pack go check them out they're awesome peace